Hi there, hope you're having a good day. Today we've got comedian Steve Punt checking out some cars which are funny in his opinion. Let's see why. Enjoy. And stand up comic Steve Punt is in search of a comedy car for the millennium. There are times when being a stand up comic can come in distinctly handy. And one of those times is when the phone rings and it's Top Gear. Steve, we have a little mission for you, they said. <laughs> Shucks, I said. Don't you worry about that. I'm your man. <sighs> uh, oh, yes. Now, my mission. Dear Steve, your mission is to get straight back out of this car and find us a funny one. Okay, let's get personal. Four by fours. Especially the ones with the spare wheel covers with two rhinos humping. Which saves having to put a sticker in the rear window. Caution! Driver is sad suburban geek. A 4x4 really is one big gimmick. And a comedy car should have a little subtle gimmick. Say, a square steering wheel. Now, the Rover 100 could be a funny car because it's a kind of a hyacinth bucket of a vehicle with ideas above its station. Net curtains and little carriage lamps on the side because, of course, it's not like those old mini metros. Oh, no, it's a completely different car. See, it's tricky, this, isn't it? Because it's comedy by association, usually. You say Porsche, I say City Trader. You say Mondeo, I say Sales Rep. You say Perodio a Nipper, I say Chelsea paid too much for him. Ah. Silly names. See, there's got to be something funny about the Ford car and the Ford Focus. Because how do they name cars nowadays? They hold focus groups. So, Ford hold a focus group to think of new names for cars, and the car naming focus group came up with the names the Ford Focus and the Ford Car. Next year, Ford will introduce the Ford Group, and the Ford bunch of consumers sit round and discuss names for cars. And also, tragically for comedians, they're both perfectly good vehicles anyway. Time to go below the belt. You see, it's a bit of a rule of comedy cars that the last country to the market is the funny one. In the 70s, it was Japan. In the 80s, Eastern Europe. Nowadays, Korea and Malaysia. The Sanyong Musso. Excuse me, you cannot name a car after some letters your two-year-old left on the front of a fridge. And I haven't mentioned the Daewoo Nibira. Daewoo are probably the closest the 90s have come to a funny car, but that's nothing to do with a car. It's because you're able to buy it at a supermarket. You know, eggs, toilet rolls, milk, shreddies, and, um, oh, what was the other thing? Oh, yeah, if you could get me a car. It seems, tragically, as though the true comedy car may well be a thing of the past. Modern-day manufacturers take great care to ensure that whatever else their cars may be, dull, identical, oddly named, they aren't funny. In fact, many of them use special joke production supervisors to check each stage of the design and manufacturing process for comical flaws and eliminate them. Which only leaves me to revert to my original plan. Thank you for watching. Check out my channel for more old Top Gear videos and other content. Have a wonderful day.